Gur, how does the role of a captain change when you lose a football game? I don't think it really changes. Um, you just have to be kind of extra weary of guys coming out with, you know, maybe being a little bit slower, maybe having a different attitude. And this team hasn't showed that at all. We've been really pretty focused yesterday in practice, and it's just about getting ready for BC. Does it maybe does your role maybe expand in the loss? Do you feel like you have to worry about or, or keep track of guys maybe a little bit more? I think so, a little bit to a degree, but for the most part, these guys on the team really don't need many people telling them what to do. I think that everyone's pretty focused on the next goal, and that's beating BC. What do you see from these guys the last three days? Like, you're going to be all right? Yeah, I think, you know, you get 24 hours to be kind of sorry for yourself um, after a loss like that. And then come Sunday night, you kind of got to get refocused. Uh, and Monday, we woke up and we were ready to get back after it. Yeah. Greer, when you think of uh, Notre Dame versus BC or playing BC, how would you characterize it? I think it's going to be a tough, hard-fought game. Um, they always play us really well. Um, uh, yeah, and I think they're just a good football team. I think it's a pretty good football game. Are they one of the more physical teams on your schedule? I know you haven't played; you don't play them every year, but would you would you say that? Yeah, I think that they're a really physical team. Um, and I think there's also a lot at stake here. We're both Catholic institutions, and there's a little pride involved with that as well. When you look at their offense, what, are, what, what do you think are the keys to you guys on defense having a successful day? I think that uh, in the run game, just filling the holes, um, not letting them push us around. Um, I think ultimately just flying to the ball. As long as we're moving and playing aggressive, we'll be all right. What do you see from uh, their redshirt freshman quarterback, Anthony Brown? Is he a dual threat? Well, how would you uh, summarize his style of play? Yeah, I think he's a dual threat. Um, I think he's a good quarterback. Um, but for us, it's more just about focusing on our jobs. We really haven't done that much scouting report to, on them as much as we have just kind of getting down the scheme for ourselves. Right. How would you, after two games, how would you summarize how the linebacker play has been? I think it's improved. Uh, I think it's getting better and better. Um, we want to be one of the best linebacker cores in the country, so we're working towards that goal. So we're obviously not there, but I think that we've gotten better from week one to week two. Thank you. Uh. Greer, uh, talk about this defense and what you, the things that you like about the, the scheme and, and what it allows you to do. Yeah, I think that it allows us to play fast. I think we're playing confident. Um, and having those things just allows as a defense as a whole for us just to play super aggressive and physical um, and not really think about a lot of things. Uh, we're just out there kind of playing for each other, running around, um, and it's been fun. Oh. Career up the middle. Uh, you guys were 0-3 last year in True Road games, and as a program it's 5-11 and since 2012. Um, what makes going on the road difficult, and what do you guys have to do to make sure – it's not the same results that it's been. Yeah, so I think for someone that's already traveled to away games, it's not that big of a deal because you have that routine. But for these younger guys that this is their first travel game, I think that um, obviously is the hardest thing is to kind of get them to know really what we do on away games. Um, but, you know, not speaking about last year or anything, uh, I think that we're ready for this game and we're going to be ready to go in there and uh, get a W. Is that a chip, though, in the back of the mind of even for older guys that, you know, you go in three on the road last year, let's, let's get that stat out of the way and let's get the W and, and get rid of that notion that we can't win on the road? Yeah, I don't think it's really in the back of our minds. I think this is a new year um, and it's a new attitude. Um, at least for me, speaking for myself, I don't really feel that way. I think that it's just all about our game plan and going and executing. And, and then... Looking at the, the growth of the defense, you kind of touched on Saturday that you were certainly pleased with, especially the fourth quarter, you guys getting those stops. Um, looking back at it, how, how critical was that for, for the confidence of this defense moving forward just to, to show you guys, hey, we, we can do that in, in a big game setting? 
Yeah, I think Georgia was a great team, and so it showed us that we can kind of go out there and play with anyone. Um, and as a defensive unit, obviously there's things we need to get cleaned up and we could have done better. But for the whole, I thought that as a defense, we came up when we needed to do to come up um, and got the ball back to the offense on uh, that scenario. And so I think that gives us a lot of confidence as a defensive unit that we can go out and play with anyone.